All right, what's up guys? I am down in Berry Hill. This is kind of like an area of Nashville where there's a lot of recording studios and a good friend of mine lives down here who is an incredible drummer and I'm gonna go check out his home studio. But first, I need to call him because um, I'm like 20 minutes early. Yo, what's up? Show up a few minutes early? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, sounds good. Sweet. Yeah. Yo, what's come up, on dude? in, man. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? So this is my buddy Cole. Beautiful neighborhood, dude. Cole just had a baby. Uh, yes. Two months old, right? Two months, yeah. That's amazing. So we got the baby stuff in the crib. Oh, yeah. You've been working on your own side project here, yes. right? Yes, yes. And doing gospel yeah, kind of I'm, funk? I'm, yeah, mm -hmm. gospel funk. I'm calling it kind of Christian soul. Christian soul? Yeah, you know, some Christian blue-eyed soul. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Making everything at home. Yes. That's correct. Yes. Dude, and sweet guys. place, man. Thank you. Did you guys clean this all up before I got here? It looks great. Mm. This is yes. like... <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to show me this? Yeah. Show me the let's, room let's where the magic happens? Sure. Let's go. Dude, what an awesome kitchen, man. This is, you guys are renting this place? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Woo! Here it is, man. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's got the Blue on. Rogers. I met Cole in LA in 2016 with his band. Let's pretend like the light's not in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the drummer, or is, does a lot of work with the Shadow Boxers. Am I right? Yes. They came, they flew to LA from Nashville, which is now where we are. Justin Timberlake contacted you guys and. Somehow. Somehow. Don't know how. Still, it was like on Twitter or something. Yeah, right? through Twitter. He just randomly found a video that we did a cover of his song. That's how, it all, <laughs> that's how it really started for us. That's awesome. Sick. Well, let's check this out. So now you're making music in this room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dang, what a sick little room here, dude. Thank you, man. Super vibey. Yep. Got the drum kit. Mm -hmm. Rogers. Yeah. Dude, Cole is one of like the sickest drummers. I I am a drummer as well, so I that have means a, a lot, man. I have a Coming soft a fellow drummer. I have a soft spot for other drummers who know how to pick the right sounds and and have that pocket, dude. That pocket is <laughs> so tight. <laughs> this is where the magic happens, yes, right here, right? Yes, this is it. This is it. Sick. Okay. So, what are you working on? You use Logic, I Ableton, use, Pro I Tools. I use Ableton. I started using Ableton with the Shadow Boxers, just using tracks. Um, and from there, I was like, you know, I was writing songs and I thought, oh, well, I'm figuring out Ableton slowly but surely. So I started just messing with it and, mm -hmm. and I'm still messing with it, still learning. But yeah, this is... I can't yeah. do Ableton, dude. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm still. I'm gonna a, cut this part out. I know every recording <laughs> program. You got the laptop. Mm -hmm. Working off the Universal Audio Arrow. Yep. Yep. And then we've got the, this Key Lab. Who mm -hmm. makes this? Is Arturia. this Arturia? Arturia. Yeah. Dude, they have sweet plugins. Yeah. Let's talk about this thing. That is the the good old SM57. <laughs> Also known here but, but, as the everything mic. The you can do anything with that. Dude. Thing. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> that is, if we're going to play some of his, I'm going to put some of his music in the video and down below, check it out because it, you would not think. Every vocal. You would not think that that was, was done on a 57. Every vocal on my EP and every vocal on my YouTube videos are all on an SM57. <laughs> That's amazing, man. Okay, so take note, people. Pop filter, a few inches off the uh, off the grill of the 57. Sitting right next to the chair, not a lot of 
setup going on, you know, just chilling, yeah, just chilling. ready to roll. Yeah. Straight into the arrow. Dude, mm -hmm. what a sick setup, man. This is great. And then guitar. Mm hmm. Direct? Yeah, direct in. Okay. Yes. Is it mostly clean? It's mostly, guitar tones? Yeah, it's mostly clean. Are you ramping? Because a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is like that kind of Niles Roger um, funk sound. Just. And so yes. and he went straight, straight into the board. Yes. Stuff. So a lot of stuff is just like maybe a simple little amp plug-in on Ableton and just getting a nice clean sound. Or you know, are you kind of using stuff. an Ableton proprietary amp plug-in, or is it like another company? Most of the uh, plugins that I use are just straight from from Ableton. Wow. Yeah. They've got some good stuff on there. All right. You know? All right, Ableton people. Yeah. All right. My biggest beef with Ableton, honestly, it's that I haven't been able to find anyone who can teach me in a way that isn't so boring. So maybe I'll make that a goal on this channel where I can learn it and then make videos that aren't extremely boring so that so that you can learn how to make sick tracks like Cole does because they're so boring. That's awesome, man. I, I definitely noticed that there's the main difference is there's like sequencing that you can do in Ableton and yeah, in like instead of a mix edit window it's like your edit window is you can either have the timeline view or you can have like yeah, that this view and this is also a cool view to like um, run tracks or you can record things into here like into these little things and then you like say you have a drum track and a bass track and electric guitar so the first line can be the verse the second line can be the chorus and the third line can be the bridge and you can like just go over here it's kind of like an arrangement an arrangement on yeah. each row yeah uh-huh so you can kind of really mess with things and you know on the fly do a cool arrangement what kind of, what laptop is this this is uh apple <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like a 2018 this MacBook, is a, a, is MacBook it a Pro. MacBook. Oh, dang, they're so small yeah, now. Yeah, they're really small. I do love the colors, man. All right, we got the Arturia mm -hmm. controller, the MacBook, the Universal Audio Arrow. What, what's the deal with the Arrow? This has um, two inputs? Yeah, One input, this two has... Inputs? Well, there's two... Two uh, inputs, XLRs. Yeah, XLRs back here, and then you got a straight end for a guitar. Is and there? There's no. What's? What are the, power, oh, these are outputs. Yeah, those are outputs. There's no power supply, so it just like comes Goes on USB three. Right, right when you plug it in. There you go. So it's super easy to travel with. You know, if you got a, like a, a writing session, then I just toss my my laptop and that in a bag and just go. Headphone yeah. out. Yep. You got an instrument input there for your mm -hmm. guitar. Yep. God, that's as simple as. It's super simple. As you can hope for. Yeah. Arlex, did I'm you buy a pack? I bought a pack. Yeah, I think I bought two packs actually. Well, I will admit, it looks sick. Okay, and, that's good. And it sounds, it is, it sounds surprisingly tight in here and very controlled. It's a fairly low ceiling, which is good. So there's not too much weirdness going on up here. And then there's something in the window. Yeah. What do we got in here? The old Owens Corning. Okay. So don't disturb the neighbors. Right, right. Well, um, that also keeps the room very well insulated. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it is insulation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is great, man. Okay, so you recently put out, did you put out a single? I put out a whole EP. A whole yeah, EP. What's the, what's the name of the EP? The EP is called Transient, five songs, all funky gospel soul yes. christian soul whatever you want to call it and that's all on this spotify all, apple all the streaming yeah, stuff. all the streaming stuff and it was all made in this room yes with an sm57 <laughs> tell me a little bit about youtube oh man i so on youtube i'm brand spanking new to it i'm just taking a note kind of from the shadow boxers you know how they kind of got a lot of traction was on YouTube yep and you know from Justin Timberlake finding us there to 
you know, just doing a whole lot of covers in an interesting way. And so what I wanted to do is make Christian music, which is, it just notoriously sounds one way, mm -hmm. um, and yep. take songs that are Christian and make it into my Christian soul world. Sure, yeah, and yeah. So I'm taking, you know, right now I'm taking a Hillsong United song, um, which is just classic CCM and turning it into like almost a Bee Gees vibe. For people who are ignorant like myself, what is CCM? CCM is just Christian contemporary music. That's kind of what they call it now. Okay, yeah. CCM, got it. And then you just, uh, so you're doing some covers and then you do videos for your original music too? Uh, I haven't actually done any music for my originals yet. Or any videos for my originals. Why I, not? I don't, well, I don't know. You I should. should. <laughs> you should. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I'll go on record and say, do it. The covers are really good. Something I've noticed is a lot of people who make cover videos on YouTube think that the people who are watching aren't interested in their original music. They think that they're just interested in the covers. And a lot of times yeah. you put up an original and that gets way more traction mm -hmm. than the covers. Yeah. So I strongly recommend my next video will be do an original, a, an original. Yeah. Yes. So when's the next release? The next YouTube release? Well, the next YouTube release is going to be um, this song that I'm working on, Good Grace by Hillsong United. And that'll hopefully be this Friday. This Friday? Yes. All right. I'll link to Cole's channel, and then you can just go there and watch it. And and subscribe to his channel, too, because he's super, like, talented. <laughs> Sick, dude. This is yeah. awesome. I might, you know, decide to put some of these cover, make a little cover EP. I just want to keep releasing music. That's great, man. You know, and I love that you can all you can do everything that you need to do here. Yeah. Until until I finish building my studio in which you can come over yeah. and we'll make tracks together. Yes. You can get most of it done here and then come over. I want to I want to have a, a live drum set up. Yeah, man. And and make a bunch of racket. Let's do it. I love it. Well, dude, thank you so much for uh letting us in your in your house with your two month old who's asleep in the room right next door and showing me your setup man this is this is super cool very cool man and uh, and we, let's hang out more yes we live in the same town <laughs> <laughs> yes absolutely i will see you later dig it links links in the description subscribe to cole's channel and uh and yeah i'll see you in the next video see ya All right, yes. so I have to share this with you guys. <laughs> I just asked Cole what he does for bass, because I don't see a bass in here. I said, are you doing bass on your MIDI controller? And you said you're doing what? I'm playing my guitar, and so you can, I put a little bass amp on there, a little compressor, and I go into here, transpose it down using that Complex Pro, and then, so if I turn everything off, you'll hear that it's just a guitar. And then I move it back up here. Solo of the bass. That's the bass guitar. And then with everything back on, So no, there's no bass guitar. He's just playing his guitar, and then basically just transposing it or detuning it to a lower octave mm -hmm. with a bass plugin, bass amp plugin. Yeah. Dude, that sounds so good. Thanks, man. And that's just DI into the interface. Yeah. So good. Thank you. Write that down. Amazing. Bass hack.